Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to today's video. So today is the flip through of my finished Spring Edith Holden journal. It's a whopper. <laughs> Finally got it finished. Um, I'm just going to take this off. I've just put this round as a closure. It's just a nice, I've doubled it over, big ribbon of sari silk. So that's that was sort of the nearest colour I had to go with the journal. Um, if you've been watching along, you'll have seen me make the cover. It's a fabric cover. It's like a velvet, mustardy velvet. It's an elastic binding and I've used gold eyelets and I've left the elastics exposed. I just thought it looked nice. I didn't think lace fitted down the size. I just, I just like that look. I mean, whoever gets it, if they want to put something down there, they can do. I've left these uh, elastics really long in case you want to add stuff into it. You know, you can you can add more into it. I've just put some of these little, uh, I don't know what they're called, like tassels on each of the uh, elastic strings. Uh, the cover is all collaged, it's just layers of different papers, uh, cheesecloth, another paper, stitching, cotton and then you see my topper that I made for the top if you've been watching along. Uh, this journal has been stitched on every single page somewhere and I'll tell you it measures nine and a quarter by seven and a quarter approximately and there's around 172 pages back to front, back to the uh, front to the back even. Uh, there might be more, I've not counted like all the envelopes and bits and pieces that I've put in. So that's the cover. Okay, so let's have a look inside then. So on the first page I put this picture of Edith, uh, Edith Holden at around the age of 40 and I've just put that little word memories there, I've got some of this burlap trim down the side, I just thought that was a nice start to the journal. So that's my front page, there's three signatures, the first signature we've just got an Edith Holden book page there and I've just stitched, I haven't done anything to that. Can we see guys, are we in frame? Yeah, I think so. The next page is just a little book page from a vintage bird book. I just thought that fitted in nicely next to that Edith Holden page. Then we've got a little tiny pocket. I haven't put stuff in all the pockets because it was really chunky, but I have got ephemera left and I'll show you that at the end. Just a little pocket with a bit of collage at the bottom. Then on the next page is a kit page. And I've got, oh, the tassels come off. I'll have to put that back on. Uh, these little tabs that I've made, I've put some charms and some have got beads on. I'll pull that back on when I've finished. And then I've just pinned one of the tags that we made onto the top of that page and I've used gold paper clips. I've pinned more or less everything uh, with paper clips and then you can swap it round if you want to. You don't have to keep it where it is. And I've just put a little quote on there. Spring breeds new life into the world around us. So that's that. That's the back of the uh, kit page. I've left that. The next page is just a little tuck. It's got some ink on. One of the clusters that are made. And then one of these postcard tags. Just some. I've tried to match the ribbon up to the colour of the flowers on these tags. I like them. And then on the back is just some more ink, a little piece of uh, floral washi and then just a little bit of stencil and I've left that for journaling. Then we've got another kit page, this is one of Shabby Dabby Doodars, a little quote at the top, a little bit of lace. I haven't put lace all the way through, I just didn't think it fitted, I don't know, I just, I just prefer having the tabs on different pages so I've left lace off this one. And then on the back we made a pocket out of one of the gel prints. This is one of the little die cuts from a book I got free with a magazine. And then we've got Never Yet Was A Springtime When The Birds Forgot To Bloom. Uh, and then we've got this little piece of ephemera that we made on camera. Little scrappy notebook there. Yeah, I liked those. And then it just tucks under the butterfly there to keep it closed. This page is just a... Uh, vellum page I've just pinned on one of the little journaling cards everything can be journaled on and everything's been inked uh, not heavily inked like I would normally do but it's all been inked with tea dye I used throughout the journal and then the back of the vellum's got a pocket there if you want to put anything in there this is just a little book about flowers a uh, vintage book that I picked up from a little antique shop um, and I've just stamped two butterflies and then I've just left it like that. This is another kit page with a little side tuck there, a little butterfly with some pearls on, 
some lace and a little label and I've left that as well because it's chock-a-block back of the kit page I mean you could stick photos on there you could gesso it and write on it and then we've got a little belly band I've done some stenciling in the background and a little bit of stamping with the butterflies a little bit of collage with some flowers and then I've just popped in this little journaling card just then there's something in there and on the back of there we've got another little pocket that I've left empty butterflies and some stamping this is a kit page I've just put a butterfly on some dimensional pads foam pads and then we've got another little tab that's got a little I think it's a butterfly on there and then the back of the kit page the next page is a big pocket page I made another little side pocket here put that flower on and we've got the little journaling card that we made on camera in there and then in the pocket is just a journaling card for you to journal on that's just got a lace tab on there and that just fits nicely into that little pocket on the back I've left that for journaling I have left a bit of space for journaling but there's a naked journal in the middle we'll get to in a minute and then we've just got a paper bag with a little bit of collage just a journaling card in there and then I've just stuck another little flower on the back there just then there was something there another little quote and then the next page is another kit page and we've got one of these flip ups that we made you can have it that way or you can have it that way you can have it whichever way you want in fact I think I'm going to put it back like that I like that page and then yeah you can um, you can journal on the back there let's put that on and again I've just pinned it in with a paper clip and then you can you can move it around if you wish and then we've got another little bead dangle on the end of there this page I'm not going to take these out because it took me ages to get them in this was a pocket I made from one of my dies using the gel prints that I did and then I've just got some little bits of ephemera just in those little pockets and we've got another little tab there that I've missed off so I'll have to put something on this so that's two tabs I need to sort out if, no matter how many times you go through I always forget to do something so I need to put something on there and then on the back we've got another little side pocket that I've just left for bits and pieces to go in this page we've got a little tuck there um, like I said I'll show you here we've got all this ephemera left but the journal was Adam it's got a big gator mouth as it is and the more I was stuffing I did put it all in then I took it out because it just looked it didn't look nice it was right really chunky it wouldn't close but whoever purchases the journal will get this ephemera as well so we've got that pocket there then we've got that little tuck there that I made with the paper embellishments and as you can see like I said every page has got stitching on somewhere I've left the kit page and then here we've just got this is just a little receipt with a die cut on and a tiny little pocket there if you want to pop something in that pocket we've got another book page uh, with just a butterfly added on there I thought that went nice with the book page and then we're in the center of the first signature and I've used this nice olive it's like an olive green elastic to bind it with so the back of the book page and we've got the other side of the little uh, receipts and then this page what have we got on here oh we've got that little side side tuck there so this page we've got a little pocket at the side there and then we've got it opens out and you've got them two little sort of scruffy looking pockets that are put in there and this was just pinned onto this page like so like I said you can move it around do what you want with it I've left that and it's just got a bit of stenciling on and I've left the back and done some stenciling this page is a kit page I've just put a die cut on with a little butterfly on there so that can all be journals on and then this page we've got a pocket from the kit that I bought off Artie Mays a little quote and then one of the big tags that I've got a pocket in as well there for you to pop stuff in that just fits nicely in there then we've got the other side of the bag with that big flower on and we, again we've got just a little journaling card in there I've even stitched the paper bag and then we've got a big flower on there a little butterfly and a little label this was just I think I did this yeah I did this on camera it was just the negative from me punching out circles I've just stamped some butterflies done some script stamping and then just a little journaling card and that just fits nicely in there if you put it in right just have to watch the lace 
doesn't get caught so that's that page and then here's the other pocket and I've used a book page to make a big journaling card there so that just pops in there and then the back of the pocket I've done a little bit of stenciling and just one of the clusters that we made on camera this page is just a little corner tuck with a label and another journal card and then the back is a kit page that I've left we've got a little pocket down here we've got some stenciling a little stamped butterfly little flower and then another one of these big tags and these can be journaled on as well they've got pockets in so that's that page I put ribbon on some and I put twine on some I just thought they both went nicely with the journal back of that page coffee dyed I've just left it for journaling on and then here we've got uh, this is one of my dies that I die cut and it's from a gel print and then we've just got one of the postcard tags these are lovely I've, I'm on the lookout for some more of these um, I found them in my stash no idea where they've come from but I really like them but I was thinking I could maybe make, maybe make some on a video I think I might do that actually and then we've got some flowers on there and that just fits nicely into that little pocket and then on the back I've just got a little tuck at the top it's just a die cut from the book that I had and then that's the back of the little flower book here we've got the other little pocket on the vellum and then we've got this little altered envelope and that can be journaled on remember me I said to you I had a bit of uh, ephemera left from a project I did last year well this was one of them so I thought this fitted in nice in the journal so that just goes in there and in that little pocket and then on the next page is another back of the kit page and again we've just got a big tag bloom where you're planted and it's got a uh, grid paper on the back for journaling on it's all been coffee dyed as well all the papers that I've used apart from the kit papers and then on the back we've got the kit page with just another little side tuck there these were quite dimensional so you can imagine them when I was putting all this in as well it was just far too big <laughs> so this is a little pocket that we made a little label and then this was um, a little tag I found in my stash I just thought that fitted in nicely there then we've got another little tab with a little like it looks like glass but it's not a little green bead it's that one and then on the back of there I've just used some spray inks we've got a couple of stamped butterflies and I've left that for journaling the next page is a kit page and we've got a Tim Holtz slot pocket again made with the gel prints we've got some little tickets that were in the kit that I bought off Andrea at Artie Mays and I've stamped a little butterfly there as well and then the back of the kit page I've left that other little side of this little pocket I've just left for you to put what you want in there and then we've got the other side of the book page about the birds and then the back of the Edith Holden page so that's the end of the first signature the second signature I just made a naked journal I've just embellished it with some butterflies and this little dangle I think you can see there can't you it just says moments and this says the way to know life is to love many things again I've got a little tassel on the bottom of here and like I said it's just a naked journal for you to journal in different kinds of coffee dyed papers in um, and because it's on elastic you can take it in and out to writing you can add to it you can take away from it you can do whatever you want to it I just thought I like doing that I've been doing it a lot really well I've been doing it on most of the journals because I like to heavily embellish my journals I like to make sure that there is somewhere to journal as well so that's that page and then the third signature we've got a kit page here with just a little cluster on the front on the back of there I made another big side pocket these are vintage tea cards that are picked up at a car boot sale I've just stuck them on to embellish and then we've got this big pocket here most of this signature hasn't got stuff in because like I said it was far too chunky but I thought the idea if I give this with whoever buys it they can swap it around and do what they want with it then there's another little uh, vintage book page about wildflowers there we've got another little journaling spot and that just flips out there and I've just drew some journaling lines on there a little butterfly stamp and then on the back you've got somewhere to journal and another little pocket then we've got another pocket from Andrea's kit there I've just stamped a butterfly a little bit of lace 
and put the word fly and then we've got another one of the postcard tags on the back of the grid paper is another little pocket with a bit of collage i've just left that this page is the one that we did on camera it's the decoupaged envelope and i've just put some little bits of ephemera in there and then that just clips onto my i was going to glue it and then i thought no i'll just clip it and then whoever gets it can do whatever they like with it that's just got a paper clip there and then we've got a kit page at the back of it and then we've got the other side of the little bird page we've got an edith holden page here and i've just left that as it is and then here is a die cut that I cut with the gel prints that we made and just two little pieces of ephemera there from Andrea's kit as well. And then on the back there's another little tuck here if you want to put, pop something in there. We've got another kit page that I've left. I've left most of the kit pages because I thought you could put photos on, you could gesso over them, you can add pockets, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, here is another one of the die dies that i've got i've die cut the pocket i've stamped some butterflies and put a tag and a journaling card got some cotton hanging on there a tag and a journaling card in that one let's put that back in there and then on the back is another little side pocket a little bit of collage with an, a word and then we've got the other one of these little scrappy notebooks that we made i love that image i love that bird i liked these i enjoyed making i enjoyed doing this whole journal i really did i really enjoyed it it was really nice to work with so that just sits in there and then we've got a page there for journaling a bit of stenciling and a little butterfly and then we've got another big pocket with another little journal well biggest journaling card that's been stitched around as well that just fits nicely in there and then on the back I've left for journaling I've just stamped a butterfly and put a little word there and we've got another kit page with one of the clusters there I've left a lot of the uh, threads from the cotton hanging but if you don't like that you can just snip it off if you don't like that and then I've got another little tab and I've got two little green beads just hanging off there and that one's come off as well i <laughs> didn't do a very good job of that did i i'll have to tie them on a bit tighter and then we've got a kit page um, and then here is just a piece of coffee dyed paper i've stamped the butterfly and it just opens out into a4 just for you to journal on then it just folds back up like that and you can journal on there i've still got pegs in there from when i was holding it in uh, so that's that and on the back we've got this pocket that I made I like this pocket this was some paper from a little paper pad that I've got free with a magazine as well I've done some inking spraying the word beautiful a little stamp butterfly and then we've got another tag and I've not put some twine in there I'll have to remember to do that as well you wouldn't think I'd been through it twice and looked it's funny how you miss things isn't it until you sat down on top of it so I can easily put some twine on there and then we've got another Edith Holden book page there this is the centre of the third signature and I've not done anything it just speaks for itself doesn't it that page um, I've then got another coffee dyed page with some sprays another Tim Holtz slot pocket with a butterfly and then just some little tiny pieces of ephemera that just fit nicely in there and then we've got another little uh, tab with another little like it's like a copper bead on that one and then the back i've left for journaling this page we've got a kit page we've got another little tab with two little beads on these were one of my favorites that i made these were the tag tag pockets i really enjoyed making this one i'll make these again they've got two little pockets inside there and then they've got some journaling space at the back i really liked making them and that's a really heavy piece of ephemera that is it weighs a ton and then turning over from there we've got the back of the kit page this page i just stamped the words notes quite scruffily and then i've stitched it down the side there and it just opens out let me just move the it just opens out to a4 for you to journal on and then just folds back up so we've got a lot of journaling space there and then turning over is the back of the kit page then we've got another pocket with journaling card 
I've left that for journaling as well. I didn't put anything on there. I just stamped a butterfly, put a little word at the bottom. And then on the back, I've left it uh, for journaling. I've just stamped a butterfly. I did use some ink, so I used some sprays on there. And then this page is stuck to the next one. Uh, again, I've left it for journaling. And then we've just got a little postcard pocket. We've got a bit of uh, stenciling. Sorry, I couldn't get my words out then. A little bit of ink, a postcard, a butterfly, and then another one of the big tags that we made. And then here, I've only put one of the guest checks in because there just wasn't room for another one. So I've put that in my ephemera box. That's the guest checks that we made and I've just pinned it onto that kit page. And the back of the kit page I've just left. Then here is just a little pocket that I had in my stash. Uh, that was from last year. It's a little glassine bag that I just made into a pocket. And then just a little piece of ephemera just about fits in there. And then I've stamped a butterfly at the top of that page. And then on the back I've left that for journaling. We've just got a stamped butterfly. We've got the other side of the book page. And then we've got another tab with two more beads on. We're nearly there guys, we've got the back of the little bird page, just pop that in there and then we've got a kit page, I've left that, the back of the kit page. The next page is grid paper, I've got some washi down there and then I've put in one of the page embellishments as a little tuck and then I've put this in as well, this is a little scrappy notebook, this was from what I made last year and I thought we'll just pop it in there, that's that one goes nicely in that little pocket and then on the back I've just left for journaling and then we've got the other side of the diary page just some stamping and some stitching and then another one of the postcard tags just pops in there I've left the back for journaling and then we've got the other side of the wildflowers page here we've got just a little side tuck that I've made out of the gel print I've just embellished it with another one of the vintage tea cards and then I've got spring is the time of plans and projects and then we've got the back of the kit page and then we've got the last page guys that's the back I didn't put anything on there I wanted you to be able to see the whole of the image so that is that that is her all finished yeah it was a labour of love it was a lot of work but I did enjoy it I really did enjoy it I'm not going to tie it back up because I want to put these little tabs back on so like I said whoever buys it there will be this little bit of um, ephemera that's left over from the kit and I've also made because it's so chunky I've made a big writing board and I've, it's quite solid I've put some little gold book corners on and then you shouldn't have any problems putting it in to write on yeah, I just thought because it was so chunky. So that is going to, so the ephemera and the writing board, so they're all going to come together. If you're interested at all, guys, I'll leave my email address. Just drop me an email. Unfortunately, I'm not shipping international at the moment. I've had a bit of a problem with the last one I shipped. Um, yeah, long story. So at the moment, I'm just shipping UK. But like I said, I'll leave my email address. And I'm sorry if that's disappointing, but it's a lot of work gone into it and I just can't risk it. Go another one going missing. So yeah, um, like I said, thank you so much to everybody that's watched the whole process and left me lovely comments and positive feedback. I really have appreciated it and like I said, I've enjoyed making it. It's been a really nice project. So until next time guys, take care and I'll be back soon with a new video. Bye for now.